I let go, this plane pitches up hard. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. You know, one of the things that I'm focused on in the first 25 hours of flying and beyond is the proper use of trim. You'll see me out there sometimes with students asking them to kind of thread my little marker through their fingers so that they can learn to have a light grip on the yoke. Uh, one of the most fundamental building blocks to good airmanship, by the way, uh, but partly also so that they can learn how to use trim properly. Um, but it does make me think, you know, every now and again, I look at an accident that may have been a, a result of runaway trim or somebody taking off with the trim set improperly or not understanding the autopilot, I think is how it occurs for a lot of us, right? On, on instrument training or using an autopilot VFR, the autopilot does something funky and, and the plane's doing something you're not expecting. But it can also be worthwhile to learn how to hold your sight picture, no matter what regardless of what you feel, to learn how to hold it against pressure, just in case your trim is set wrong or moving. So I think it's worthwhile uh, to practice that a little bit, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Uh, consider the following scenario. All right, now let's consider this. I'm here in the pattern to show you guys something. You know, it doesn't have to be runaway trim. Let's, uh, here I am by myself in the front seat of an airplane. Let's imagine it was my wife and I, so there's two of us up here. Let's note where the trim ends up when we land, okay? And let's imagine my wife and I are here to pick up some friends, a couple. They're gonna go in the back seat. I've got my fuel load, about half tanks. Weight and balance seems pretty good. I've done all the calculations, all that sort of stuff. But when we land, I see them right there waiting, you know, at the side of the runway and I get distracted when I forget to do my after landing checklist. Okay guys, here I am on final approach. I've got about uh, 65 knots in the airplane here and you can see where my trim is set. This is just me on board alone. I've got it set a little nose up to sort of simulate a passenger in the air. I mean, uh, another passenger up front with me, like my wife in the scenario that we just described. Um, so I'm gonna have it just a little far back than it, a little further back than it might be if it was just me to sort of go through this simulation. All right, make our landing here. All right, you guys, and in this little simulation, we're gonna say, oh, look at that. There's Jenny and Bob standing right there by the fuel island, waving us in, how cool, you know? And for whatever reason, I get distracted. I see my friends, my, my wife says, hey, can you text them or whatever it is, right? Some real life distraction. I fail to do my after landing checklist, which I know you guys would never do, but just pretend you're me for a minute and you make mistakes from time to time. All right, Nevada County traffic, Scott 5218 Foxtrot, clear, runway 25, Nevada County, taxi back, left closed traffic. All right, so we simulate picking up our friends, we got two people in the back, we loaded all their bags. You know, as I mentioned, we did the weight and balance, so everything's fine in the airplane, but now that they're on board and they're talking to us, you know, there are real life distractions. So I failed to do my after landing checklist, so I failed to reset the trim. Now, let's imagine I go to the run-up area, and during the run-up, there's little distractions here and there, you know, hey, how do I get my noise canceling to work, or um, what time is our dinner reservation tonight, or my wife asked me, hey, did you call and make the rental car, whatever it is, there's always things. Um, let's imagine I forget to check the trim in the run-up area. So now I'm departing with two people in the back <laughs> in this simulation, and my trim set where it was when I landed with just my wife and I up front. So let's see what happens. Uh, and this is something that you can and should practice with your CFI to make sure that you are comfortable and have fully ingrained the idea that the picture is everything. And no matter what forces are required in your hand or in your arms, you're going to execute that force necessary to hold the pitch attitude where you want it. All right. Now, in some airplanes, like, you know, here we are in a Cessna 172. This is a good training airplane. It's fun to train this stuff and practice with your CFI. 
Uh, but in real life, if it's, even as you go up to something like a 182, which is only one step up, um, if you fail to reset your trim for takeoff, it can be as much as 30 pounds of forward pressure just to hold the nose down. All right, so this is something that you want to practice when you are in your basic trainer, something you can practice when you are with your CFI. Here we go, power set, engine gauges are checked, airspeed's alive. Okay, there are clues here, like the nose is a little higher than it normally is, but let's see what happens. The airplane just leaves the ground, and look at that pitch is straight up like that, okay? So I have to now push forward. I'm pushing forward on the yoke, which is counterintuitive. You know, pushing forward toward the ground just to hold the sight picture where I want it, where I can capture VY. Now, obviously I have trim, so I can go for the wheel and roll off the pressure. All right, another thing you can try is, you know, when you're flying along or when you're on uh, in a climb or descent for that matter, uh, have your CFI sort of mess with the trim a little bit just so you can feel what it's like to fight against it. Uh, if you don't have a CFI, that's fine too. Just use caution, make sure that you're not going too far with the trim. And in general, I wouldn't go too far. It can be hard on the airplane to, to fully fight it. I wouldn't practice going to a full aft position or a full forward position. Uh, but you can get used to the feeling of fighting it and holding on to the picture just by moving it to the position we saw for the takeoff or, or that same distance forward. All right, so here we are on our upwind leg in the traffic pattern. We're holding our best rate of climb. We've got that sight picture right here in the Lindbergh reference. Now, one thing you can do as, your, as a CFI or one thing you can ask your CFI to do is slowly start to roll in up trim here while you hold the sight picture where it is. Right now, I'm pushing hard on the yoke forward right now. You can't see my right arm, but boy, am I pushing hard just to hold that sight picture, just to get myself used to the idea that I'm holding the sight picture at all costs. It doesn't matter if I'm holding it up or down or I'm just holding it where I want it, all right? And trim is there to relieve the pressure, but if the pressure exists, I just immediately push or pull or do whatever is required to hold the picture, the pitch attitude of the airplane where I want it. Uh, that'll sort of loosen your muscles a little bit, kind of get you in the game, get you understanding that you're not always, that it's not always two fingers on the yoke, right? That you have to do what's necessary to put the attitude of the plane where you want it. All right, aviators, that's all for this episode of The Finer Points. Uh, please leave a comment below if there's a video you'd like to see. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little alert bell so you get notified of uploads. Also, consider checking out Patreon. That support is critical in getting these videos out and there's tons of bonus content there. Live hangouts with me once a month, full lesson videos, Instagram live interviews, uh, much, much more. You can check that out at patreon.com slash learn TFP. Also, check out ForeFlight, the essential app for aviation. You'll find them online at foreflight.com. And when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. I'm Jason Miller. You guys are the best fans on the internet. And until next time, be safe fly your best.